little go a long way. And I already have a bay gels on it. And applies about half of the nails. This one it looks so cute at first. I'm like, oh, it's so so cute and dainty. And then now I have the color on. You can see that it's still cute. So who said that you have short nails? You can have fun. You can definitely still having a lot of fun and a lot of idea designs for your nails. All right. So now that part done. My furrow brush number one I'm gonna go ahead and blend 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 this it's like beautiful cute purple submerging in the bay gel so you wonder how I getting this one is nice and it's not like too stuck to the nail plates I'm using the bay gels and kind of soften my bristle and then Blend it toward to the cuticle area. Okay. Keep the bristle nice and parallel. You see that it's had the ombre effects already. Cool. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Close this one one second. I think I'm gonna do one layer only. However, if you want the colors, you want the colors to be a little bit more obviously, it's solids, like I mean, dogger. You can apply another coat. But because I'm gonna put some cute cat eye gels on, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop at one layer, one coat to get a little bit of the uh, reflection of the purples underneath. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, happy with this? Go ahead and cure. Looks cool, huh? 